Hello everyone. First of all, I would like to pay my high respect to Mr. Simpson, director of the Fermi Academy School, and another board judge, teacher, and all my beloved audience who are present here. Very good morning. Well, my name is Sal. I am the student of the Fermi Academy School in the Valley SL5. Today is such an exciting day to me to be on the stage with the final round of storytelling competition. Well, my storytelling today is about when Cat and Red were friends. Let me start now. Cat and Red were best friends. In the rainy season, Cat yell home. He shared with Red. In the hungry season, Red shared food with Cat. In the dry season, they found water together. They drank lemon tea together. They were away together. One sunny day, he pulled and deer were together by the river. They were talking. Cat and Red make a lovely pair, said he pulled. They do, said deer. She stretched her neck. She wanted a closer look. Cat has bright green eyes. Red has a handsome gray coat. They look wonderful together. Cat and Red were happy. They were proud of their friendship. One day, Cat made some soup with cassava. Red and Cat were sharing the soup. Red has an idea, he said. My dear friend, let's make a cassava farm together. Then we will have a lot of cassava plants. Cat, we will never be hungry again. And we can sell what we don't eat. What a wonderful idea, Red, said Cat. Red, the two friends started the cassava farm together. They cleared the field, they got ground ready, and they planted the cassava farm and the cassava together. In the hot growing season, they with the farm together. It was hard work, but Cat and Red didn't care. Cat talked about where to cook cassava. Red talked about selling cassava. He wanted money to spend. I will make a first ten cassava, fried cassava, and my delicious soup said Cat. Then we will sell the rest of the cassava in the city, said Red. Why will we go to the city? asked Cat. It costs a lot to live in the city, Red. Red said, we can buy fine clothes and we can eat in the grand restaurant. Red looked at Cat. Cat was not happy. I know restaurants won't be as good as your Cat, but it would be fun to eat in the restaurant. I guess so, said Cat. Red knew it cost a lot to visit the city, but he had a plan. One day, it was almost time to have the cassava. Red sold all the cassava to Lepa. Lepa gave Red a big sack of money. Then he ran away to the city. He was never seen again. When Red didn't come to have the cassava, Cat was worried. He looked for his friend. No one had seen Red for a day. Then, Cat went back to harvest the cassava by himself. Red saw Leopard taking the cassava. Imagine Cat's surprise. What are you doing, Leopard? cried Cat. It's my cassava. Red sold it to me. Then he went to the city. Cat was angry. After he knew he knew he had been tricked. After that, Red checked any Red Cat checked any Red he saw. Red just my being his old ball crossing friend. And to this day, that is why Cat always has Red. The moral of the story is, as long as greed is stronger than compassion, there will always be suffering. Thank you for your listening.